I definitely felt that pressure, you know, especially after my brother felt like he wanted to get into, um, you know, this whole field as well. Yeah. This is where it all goes down. <laughs> right now, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty much my own biggest inspiration and motivation. Definitely a lot more beyond this yeah. um, coming soon. The only bad photos he has are on my phone oh. that I'm not allowed to publish. Yeah, Hello everyone, my name is Aina Mehta and welcome to Pink Villa. Today I'm actually at an MMA gym and I'm going to meet someone who is known for breaking stereotypes. She actually found her passion while she was surrounded with Bollywood around her. She's none other than my favourite Krishna Shaw. Come in. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Welcome to Pinkula. Thank you so much. So happy to be here. So Krishna, I said actually in your introduction that you know you have grown up in a world full of Bollywood and actors and movies around you. In this process, you can get influenced in the sense that you would also think that you want to get into films. Uh, how did you break that and how did you discover that I actually want to do something else? You've answered in so many of your interviews. People have asked you when you're debuting, but you're very clear. What do you want to do? How did that discovery happen? You know, to be honest, I feel like initially all those outside voices would definitely influence me to a certain extent. You know, as a young teenager, you're very easily influenced, you know. So back then, I always felt like I had to be someone that people expected me to be. And, you know, I definitely felt that pressure, you know, especially after my brother felt like he wanted to get into, um, you know, this whole field as well. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I've always been one to kind of break away from the norms. I've always been one to kind of steer the other way from what anyone expected me to be or do. And I eventually found my passion and my love for fitness, you know, and I'm, I'm an extremely stubborn person. Um, so as soon as, I mean, as soon as I discovered, you know, this passion of mine, there was, there was no looking back. Any particular incident that took place that made you realize that, you know, I just want to get up and probably work on my body. How did that happen? When was the first time you thought about it? I was always a super active person growing up, you know, growing up, um, my brother and I have always <laughs> been pretty vocal about the fact that we really only attended school to be able to play on the sports teams. Okay. Um, you know, we played all, all sorts of sports. Um, I was on the basketball, football, volleyball, badminton. I mean, you name it, I was on that team. Um, but I think my the first time I really stepped foot into a gym and discovered fitness uh, was probably about five and a half years ago when I was 23 years old. Um, you know, I was going through a really bad breakup at the time and, um, you know, the first one ever. So it's a little it hits a little harder. You've spoken um, about this breakup, but I don't think it's the one that people think. Yeah, no, definitely the, not the one that people think. The um, previous one that if I'm allowed to say so <laughs> but uh, definitely the first you know the first one always hits a little harder so without realizing it you kind of merge into the same person so I you know when that ended I realized I need to prioritize me and do something for me and I figured I wanted to do something super transformational and yeah. you know that's that's really when my entire fitness journey began you started off with cardio no mm -hmm. Oh. That is the biggest myth ever. No, what? no. I mean, cardio is not going to change your body. At the end of the yeah. day, weight training, strength training, that's going to change and mold your body. And now I'm seeing the space. It's pretty cool. Thank you. I'm a newbie when it comes to working out, but like it makes me want to work out this place. The vibe is such. Thank if you, you could just take me through. Yeah, what for sure. For area sure. Is. So um, you spoke about your breakup as well. Uh, I want to know that is fitness a kind of therapy for you? Have you found it therapeutic? And now it's your escape that, you know, if you're feeling sad or low and having a bad day, you'll go to the gym, hit it and probably feel more. It yeah, 100 percent. You know, I, I keep I mean, one of the biggest things I say when I'm trying to, you know, get someone to come join the gym or mm. anything like that or have a friend work out with me mm. um, is no matter what's happening in your life, you know, for those that one hour to two hours or however, however long you spend in the gym, yeah. you're, not, you're not thinking about anything else in the world. You know, at least, at least that's me. No matter whatever it is I'm going through, you know, outside of here, whether it's positive or negative, those couple of hours I'm so zoned in that none of that even matters. And now I'm sure you must have created a sense of discipline with yourself and working out every day. Do you ever feel demotivated to probably go to the gym or go like, you know, let me cheat on my meal? 
today or like let me do something no that you know i feel like but i mean i feel like that also comes with time mm-hmm. when i first started my fitness journey you know i would oh man i would look forward to that one day a week where i would yeah. cheat you know and yeah. like just spoil myself and get to eat whatever i want you know whenever i want but i feel like once it becomes a lifestyle um i mean it it changes the game you know like i don't i don't even have to think about it anymore i think just um you know healthy habits become so natural and the minute i kind of steer away from that that's when i feel like oh something's wrong <laughs> like i shouldn't have done this or i don't enjoy it as much anymore you know because yeah. just healthy eating a healthy lifestyle it's it's become second nature Also this space that I'm looking at right here I have not seen that happening in a lot of gyms actually any gym can you tell me a little about this space because MMA is something that you know you and Tiger have like actually got to India not a lot of females are doing this can you tell me something about that yeah absolutely you know i think um people don't realize MMA is the fastest growing sport in the world today um i'm especially proud of you know this entire section um right here because i don't think any other gym in india offers this you know um we have the entire fitness aspect we have the weight training we have the cardio um but then we also have this you know and i think this is what makes us unique we have 5 year olds coming in here you know and and wanting to 5 year olds yeah we have 5 year olds coming in here and you know like running around in the cage and and you know trying to learn the fundamentals yeah where have you got that quote from never a victim forever a fighter i will it? probably oh. give my I have to say I give um, my coach credit for that coach okay. Allen he's also our operations head oh, okay. so yeah he came up with that also for women I think it's a great space to learn like self defense 100% so- yeah you know I I always urge all my you know female friends to join take up a session with me and just give it a shot and i mean there's really no better feeling for the bait training part I think that is the section yes we can go have a Let's look go. there so this is my personal favorite um parts you know my love and my passion is 100% strength training so we have of course our amazing squat rack this is where it all goes down <laughs> breaking my prs over here all the time yeah i mean this i mean I, I, there's not much to say about this space in particular you know it's just but it's your favorite it's 100% my favorite spot and i don't think that that is your least let's, favorite let's not even go <laughs> yeah you spoke and i think that is the cardio section yeah so um, i usually i like to get my cardio through boxing and okay. things like that you know because i mean you don't, you don't feel the hour go by you know yeah. as opposed to walking on a treadmill and yeah you know it's just time's never ending that's true You've also spoken about, you know, uh, how Tiger is like your favorite partner for working out. Like your workout style is very He similar. He used to be. It is 100%. Yeah. yeah. We, you know, a lot of people think like men and women need to train different, but hmm. that's that's another myth. Hmm. You know, um we we train very similar. Uh he used to definitely be, you know, um someone I mean, he still is. I definitely look up to him and yeah. you know, he inspires me and motivates me every day, but I feel like um Right now I feel like I'm I'm pretty much my own biggest inspiration and motivation you know yeah. just because I know where I've come from in this particular you know field itself yeah. um so yeah definitely I I wake up every day just wanting to be better than I was yesterday but I have heard this that you look up to Tiger like you know in a lot of your interviews and you said that you know how he is the ideal brother I have a very contrasting question okay. <laughs> I have not seen the Tom and Jerry side of Tom you what about Tiger pisses you off Like a I lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> this nobody knows. This nobody That's knows. a really good question, but I swear <laughs> yeah. to God, like nobody on this planet can get under my skin the way he gets under my skin. <laughs> He's the only one that can piss me off yeah. and the only one that can calm me down again. Yeah, that's like the yeah. sibling relationship because I've yeah. always seen you talk so highly about Tiger yeah. and I'm like this It's because a lot of people don't see that side to him. Yeah. So, I mean, they wouldn't even believe me if I said it. You know what I mean? Like you have to be really close to him. He needs to be super comfortable with you yeah. um to be to be able to see that side. And uh you also said that you are your own biggest inspiration. You want to get better every day. Mm-hmm. So that makes me think that after this how do you have that motivation that I want to get better than this aren't you like do you have that point where now I'm satisfied with my body and the no way chance. I am Have you seen my family? Like I I recently said um yeah. in another interview my parents are aging backwards okay. and on top of that I have a superhero as a brother you know yeah. what I mean so yeah. you're constantly trying to keep up with that you yeah. know because I feel like there are those automatic expectations yeah and I mean at the end of the day there's you know it's it it only benefits me 
and i also said in your uh, introduction that you know you're always breaking stereotypes uh, you work for your body you flaunt your body you're pretty open about it and uh, but there are people like the society we live in might not take it positively every time mm -hmm. how do you deal with trolls because obviously the part where you're getting girls are messaging you you're an inspiration and stuff hands down that's always lovely but how do you deal with the darker side of this i don't you know i used to like i said earlier you know mm. earlier when we were were talking mm. um those outside voices definitely you know mattered yeah but i feel like when you're so comfortable and so secure within yourself mm. none of that really matters you know because yeah. whatever they may say is not going to change or impact who you are yeah. or your life in any way yeah. you know as long as you're not hurting anyone you know you're staying true yeah. to who you are there's nothing wrong in that you know yeah. and i always say there's a fine line between good taste and bad taste and i don't think i've ever crossed that line so i have noticed this you're very experimental with your hair looks <laughs> <laughs> you do these cute little buns the you do braids buns, yeah. you've done a high pony right now <laughs> uh besides fitness do you have any more interests that like the audience isn't aware about I'm definitely working on a couple of things okay, that I I, just, I don't want to give my ideas out, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like it's still pretty early on, but okay. I definitely have a couple of other businesses that I'm working on right now and okay. that I want to give myself maybe a year or two for to like launch in the proper way, but definitely a lot more beyond this. Yeah. Um coming soon. Okay. <laughs> We're excited to know what that is. I also wanted to ask you about your tattoos. No one uh, asked you that uh, you have like really big tattoos and you really like to getting ink. What is the agenda behind it? I used to like getting ink. Um you know I feel like I was like I said I loved you know going against the norms. I was yeah. a pretty rebellious teenager so I think most of them happened back then, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't really give much thought to it. Yeah. And, uh none of them really have a very deep and meaningful meaning. Okay. Um yeah, I just I I really love the way they look on bodies, you know. I love the I love the way they looked on mine. I love the way they look on others. I just think there's something really That was really, very attractive. I, I mean, I feel that. like they I'm I'm over that phase, you know. I okay. Yeah. But you're done getting ink for now. Done, done. Done. So yeah. we don't see any more tattoos coming. No, I've been there done that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's any more space left. Yeah. To be That's honest. True. And uh, lastly before we let you go we have something fun planned for you. Okay. So let's hop on to that segment. Let's go. Yeah. So here we have three emojis. This is what was he thinking? This <laughs> is a love struggle and this is not happening. Mm. So we're going to show you <laughs> a few pictures of Tiger and you have to just react with these emojis. <laughs> okay. So what would you say for this picture? <laughs> I'm probably going to go with cuz I mean who has that fitness level you know what I That's mean That's true The shorts though I'd probably say <laughs> What was he thinking <laughs> yeah. yeah This look Yeah Yeah It's one of his recent I, I mean is this fair I don't think he has a bad photo The only bad photos he has are on my phone oh. that I'm not allowed to publish Yeah you guys <laughs> this mm not a fan i've told him i don't like that hat so and the chain and the shirt i don't mind the chain and the open shirt but i just don't like the hat i feel like he has such amazing hair just show it yeah and his body is intact throughout always i think that was baggy too which is my favorite film of his ever so definitely baggy was my favorite too baggy like, too yeah baggy too yeah, yeah yeah i've seen it like a couple <laughs> of times this This is going to get boring. And we're done. Yeah, sorry. We're that was really pictures. boring. But I feel like he has really good photos. Um Probably we'll see the bad pictures once you upload it. Can't do it. Can't do it. You kill me. <laughs> anyway, this was so much fun. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. This was truly motivational and I got a lot of inspiration. Hopefully I'll work out your someday. I and yeah, I hope you. to see you soon for yeah. sure. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.